What is up, my beautiful babies and girls of the world? It's your girl, Keelan, aka It's Keelan, and I am back with another, another freaking video. <laughs> super early right now and I honestly just woke up throwing some clothes brushed my teeth did what I gotta do because I want to make this video but before I start y'all your girl is blue now I decided to switch it up I honestly like how this blue turned out because I tried blue before but it actually didn't show up and then when it did it was already faded to green it was just yeah but yeah I'm blue now so <laughs> But yeah, so as you can tell by that title, I am going to be doing my um, everyday makeup look for you guys. My updated everyday makeup look for you guys. Because I don't think I've done one. If I have, I've definitely done, I mean, I definitely do stuff different now. As you can see, Lucas is in the back. He never gets on this thing until somebody is recorded. Never. But anyways, I'm going to get on with the video. As you guys can see, I've already done my eyebrows off camera. That is just something I always do. It just takes up so much time unless you are doing an eyebrow tutorial, but whatever. So I wanna start by using my, Mon M Monali. Mm -hmm. my Milani Prep Soothe and Camellia. It's um face oil. I love this stuff, like I just love it. So I'm gonna just put this all over the face and massage it into my skin because my face is really really dry especially like i mean i know it's because it's winter but oh it's so dry especially around my nose area okay so now that i have my face all moisturized now we got we got some some you know glow back into our skin I am going to I'm gonna prime my eyes with and I just use my infallible pro glow by L'Oreal nothing too special anything like that um and just prime my eyes because I always like to do my eyes before I do my makeup just because it makes cleanup a lot, lot, lot easier for me. That's just my personal opinion. Some people do their makeup, like their base of the face and everything before, which is totally okay. It's all in your preference. So now I'm just going to go in with my favorite powder. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana. And I'm just going to set that so that this goes nowhere. And y'all, I got some new, I mean, some more because your girl was out. I'm not struggling no more. I'm, I mean, I'm still struggling because I'm broke, but you know. <laughs> Anyways, but I got some more of this powder. I'm just sweeping that all over my eye. So now that that is set and it ain't going nowhere, I'm gonna go into my Nubian palette. Uh, this is a new, the Nubian by Juvia's palette. I love this. I love Juvia's um, place. Any like, oh my goodness, I just love their their makeup. I have, y'all. It's a it's a struggle. I need to get more honestly, but I'm just gonna take this really light brown and I'm just gonna sweep this all over the eye, acting as my transition color. I'm gonna take this brown color and I'm, this really, really light brown here and I'm going to sweep it all over the eye acting as a transition color. Now that that color is swept all over the eye, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my second color. Now I like to do this brown here. It's not the darkest brown, but it, it's a brown and I just like to put this in my crease. Now that I have the brown in my crease, I'm going to go ahead and take this dark, dark brown, super dark, and I'm just going to put this 
on the outer corners of my eye just building up the eye color and painting a little smoky eye not really too much of a smoky eye but just a natural brown and gold smoky eye it's pretty much what i do every time every not um or every time i want to do my makeup and i want it to look soft and natural and just you know natural but glam So now that we have that, it is time for some cleanup. I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and I'm just gonna create a semi um, cut crease cleanup look thingy. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna put gold on the eye. I have those creases cleaned up I'm gonna go in with this gold in uh, the Nubian palette as well everything when I do a natural look it's mostly in this Nubian palette because it just has beautiful 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 nudes and I just love these colors So now that we have the gold in our eyelid, I'm going to go back into this brown here and I'm just going to blend it with the gold and the dark brown because we do not want any harsh lines when we are doing our makeup. We want it to be blended and look beautiful. I don't know why I have so much energy right now, but okay, you know, it's whatever. So now that we have that, I'm going to prep my lashes just because, but I'm going to do those off camera because y'all, it takes a lot to do lashes. Sometimes they write, sometimes they're not. So. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just use, I bought a bunch of lashes in at Amazon and I think I put this in one of the videos, but they're vegan lashes and they came in like a pack of, what is it? I think it's like eight pairs, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Just kidding. It's only five pairs. But it's a pack of five pairs of lashes. And um, these lashes are just so gorgeous. They're vegan. And I love wearing them. And you get a lot of usage out of these. Um, so that's why I like them. And they were only like $8, if I'm being honest. Lucas, get away. Move. But you get a lot of wear out of these. So, yeah. Now that my lashes are being prepped, they got their little, <laughs> they got the glue on it. I'm gonna go in with my Better Than Sex mascara. This is a mini one by Too Faced. And I'm just gonna prep my rib lashes so that we can have some falsies on top of them. Alright, so now that the mascara is on the eyes, while that's still drying, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my face primer. Now, I use the NYX Professional. I've been, like, this is one I've been using. And it is so, oh my goodness, it, goodness, it just feels so great on the skin. It's the NYX Professional Makeup Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. Y'all, it feels great on the skin. It's so smooth. Oh my goodness. There's so many good things to say about this. And it makes my makeup honestly look so much better like NYX be doing their thing y'all <laughs> so but I just like to go ahead and put like some dots 
just in a few places and it's so oh my goodness and it smells lovely there's just there's just nothing bad to say about this in my opinion in my opinion and i just like to go in with the brush and just massage it on the skin because it's that smooth Like, it just already makes your skin look so much better. Even if you aren't going to put makeup on top of this, it already makes your skin look a lot of better. A lot better. Not a lot of better. A lot better. I don't know. I always pose like that, but... Yeah, so I think these should be good enough. So I'm going to put on my lashes and then I'll see y'all back in a second. All right, so now that I have lashes on, um, I'm going to go in and do my foundation. Now for foundation, I switched back between either using my Fenty foundation or Milani. Um, I love Milani. I have nothing bad to say about them. So I'm going to continue to use them until, you know, they haven't steered, steered me wrong yet. I am in, and this is a Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation and concealer, and I am in the shade Tan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put, put this on the, it's a little frozen because it's kind of cold in here. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this um, on a brush and just start buffing this into my skin. So then I like to go back into or go back in with a damp beauty blender. So I'll just spray it with either setter spray, but I don't have my setter spray. So my Mario Badescu is going to have to do. And I just go into like the harder to reach areas like around my eyebrows, the hairline and all that with the beauty blender and just make sure I'm getting my foundation blended in everywhere. Again, I'm gonna go back in with my concealer, and it's the L'Oreal Pro or Paris Infallible Pro Glow. And I am in. I use the concealer. Um, this is Classic Ivory, or one. I'll either be. I'll either get one or two. It just all depends, y'all. Summer and winter shades. You know. You know. You girl be struggling. Now that I have that all blended in, I'm going to set my face um, or bake my face with my um, banana powder. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild one, photo, photo focus. Um, and this was at Walmart for like six dollars. It is super affordable. Smells, it smells good. And I just, I just love this. Like it's so light on the face it sets and this stuff does not go anywhere until i take it off y'all so then while this is set underneath the eyes i just go in and i like to contour um and i like to either take obviously my contour uh makeup brush or which i don't think i can find it so we're gonna go in with this. I used to either use this angled 
just an angled brush which is also a contour brush just angled or I use another one but I can't find that one so So y'all, what I just did, um, if, you can, if you can see, is I had put the put some more um, setting powder at the top of my head, just like wherever it was shiny at. After I con, I mean, after I baked the, you know, areas, I like to take the what's left and just, you know, put powder on, put the uh, setting powder on the remainder of the face, just because um, makeup does move and you want to set it and keep it in place. So after about like five minutes, I'll just go ahead and start sweeping it off. Not even five minutes, maybe like a minute or two. I don't know why I said five, but I'll just start sweeping it off and you can see a cleaner contour. And my face looks super, super matte, which is what we want. Um, and then I'll just go in and you yeah, know, dust it all off. guys so now that I have all that powder wiped off my face and everything it's time to go in with some blushy blush and I really don't use a lot of blush I just like it to you know look like I got some type of color back in my cheeks you know you get my drift you catch my okay I'm doing too much And the reason I don't like doing a lot of blush is because this next step. But before we move on, um, I'm going to go ahead and, because um, I always forget, but I'm going to do my under eyes, like uh, just smoke out my under um, eye and all that and then add some mascara because it just looks really weird if you don't. In my opinion, I look, my eyes just look naked underneath. I just like to go back in with that brown, this brown here, and just smoke underneath smoke this out and match it up with the um make it all connect is what i'm trying to say i don't know why i'm getting tongue tied and then just go underneath i mean go in with your mascara for the under eye parts and yeah So then, um, as I was going to say, I like to, then after highlight, I mean, I mean, after blush is obviously highlight. And now this highlight, I have been obsessed with it ever since my, uh, my best friend gave it to me. Um, this is the Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter by Wet n Wild. And y'all, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, this be how you been like everybody everyone compliments me when I wear this so this literally has become my everyday highlighter I don't care how extra this highlighter may look to some people I love it and I just literally put three dots on each side and then I go in and I just drag the wand across my eyebrow like not across it but above my brow bone and then just dot my nose in the middle and y'all when i show y'all how this blends out oh my goodness i just be in love like just look at this just melts into the skin this is why also i don't use a lot of blush anymore because this adds extra color on top of the blush that we already have 
But y'all, do y'all see this highlighter? Like, oh my goodness. Y'all ain't ready, cause I'm not even ready. Honestly, when I put this um, highlight on, I just feel like I'm a unicorn. Like, look at that. It's giving me all the unicorn vibes. But yeah, y'all, this just gives me all, this gives me all the highlighter vibe. I mean, the, the unicorn vibe that I could ever possibly want. And then after that, I just like to go ahead and set my face here. And I love using the Mario Badescu <sighs> facial spray. This is the one with aloe herbs, uh, aloe herbs and uh, rose water. I love using this one. As you can see, your girl is pretty much out. So I need to go ahead and just head up <laughs> Ulta and get some work. But um, yeah, that's I like to just set the face there. And then I'm gonna go in to, um, I like to go into my True Complexion um, contour palette. This is a, by Black Radiance. And I just like to use um, the highlight in here to highlight underneath my brow bone because the highlight in here is also popping. So I'll just highlight underneath my brow bone and um, in the inner corners of my eye as well. It's honestly just a cute, subtle highlight, and I love it. So last step, the last step, y'all, is lip gloss, lipstick, whatever y'all want. I prefer lip gloss, like, <laughs> and I'm about to plug myself. Um, y'all, this is my lip gloss. I personally made this. This is um, this is in the um, the it's not color, but this is in the this is called Pixie Dust. Is what I'm trying to say. And y'all, let me just tell y'all, I got some great things going on at Simply Luscious by Keelan Dunn. Like, we, I am, I'm moving up all 2020. Like, I said 2019 was my year, but it kicked my butt, and I just came back harder. I'm coming back harder all 2020. But this, y'all, I have sold a lot of a lip gloss, and I mean a lot, for me, a lot. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna plug myself right here. Go ahead and go down in the description below. My um, website will be down below, down below. So go ahead and shop. This one is called Pixie Dust. I have like over 11 different um, lip glosses on my website. This one is my favorite so far. Um, this is actually a mini one. This isn't even the actual size. This is a mini one. But I just love it. This one has five different glitters in it alone. If you don't have, I mean, if you don't like glitters, I also have um, a clear gloss that is just clear, no glitter. Or if you want, I do hand, I mean, because since I hand make them, I um, I definitely do custom order. Like I have done custom orders where they don't, they're like, oh, can you just not put glitter in it? I definitely do that too. So y'all shop with me down below at simply luscious by keelan.bigcartel.com. Plug myself there. But I'm just gonna show y'all how this looks because I just love it. Like it is so glossy, it's so shimmery. It's so shimmery, it is so smooth, it's not, th it's like, it's not thick to where you can't, like, it's stick super sticky, that's what I'm trying to say. It is not, it is, and it, oh my goodness, y'all, I just love the lip gloss that I created. Um, but yeah, this is, this is my lip gloss, this is, I mean, like, if y'all follow me on Snapchat or if y'all anything, like, Instagram, I even have a business account for my lip gloss, everything like that. <sighs> I'm trying to do bigger and better things um so yeah but i will say i'm gonna do a whole series on my lip gloss on my channel so stay tuned for that but yeah guys um this is pretty much my everyday makeup look like this is what i do every time i wear some makeup that I, it's just simple every day yada, yada. like i just love how it makes my skin glow i love how i look wearing it i don't look too cakey i don't look crazy I don't know what I'm doing with my hands right now. That's not really crazy. It's just something simple that I love to do. Love to wear. 
so yeah, yeah if you guys like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up because it really 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 helps don't forget to share comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can see when i post again and don't forget to join my subscribing fam by subscribing we would love to have you i would love to have you because you know let's just grow together i think i'm at like 820 something you know so yeah guys i have so much energy right now and i don't know why so i'm gonna end this video always remember stay classy and a little bit trashy and i'll see y'all in my next video peace Thank you.